According to a recent CPCB report, India produces about 72,000 MLD wastewater every day. But installed capacity of STPs in India is only 32,000 MLD, which is only about 44%. So, a huge amount of untreated wastewater is discharged into water bodies and is harmful and a cause of concern not only for humans but also for our environment. Constructed wetlands are a class of nature-based solutions and are cost-effective, environment-friendly and decentralized solutions. There are more than 7 lakh villages across India. So how many companies do we need? How many entrepreneurs do we need uh, to actually be able to attack this pollution problem where we provide solutions uh, available to any corner in India. So it's a great opportunity for people to engage on it. We have been able to remove the organics in an equal fashion and much higher nitrogen removal, much higher phosphate removal and much higher sulphate removal and even antibiotic resistance removal is also much higher in wetlands. Rather than confining wetlands to the depth of 70 to 80 centimeters, which is very common in the field, we have developed wetlands with 1.5 to 2.2 meters with lots of added advantages as I indicated to you that highly specialized bacteria could be nurtured in the lower zones which result into various kinds of nutrient removals and we are now further going for the assessment of antibiotic removal from such systems. So these are the real benefits of nature based systems and I strongly feel that human being has to learn a lot from nature and it is only through biomimicking we can bring out solutions for anything because nature's engineering is the best engineering in this world with the highest efficiency levels that we can ever think of. The science has all the great potential to solve the major problem today plaguing our country of wastewater treatment. It's not that wastewater treatment systems are not there, but when they become affordable, when they become sustainable, and if you're able to address um, low cost, uh, more reliable systems through natural biological systems, I am sure we will witness a great change out there in our nalas and water bodies and overall water pollution that we are experiencing today. Now it is amply clear, fresh water cannot meet the ever-growing water demand and therefore treatment and reuse of wastewater is essential. Conventional wastewater treatment technologies are expensive both in terms of capital and operation and maintenance. These require energy and also we need to bring wastewater to a central site. And these highly sophisticated uh, technologies need highly skilled manpower. In view of the recent NGT instructions, further stringent standards that is, BOD concentrations should not exceed 20 or 10 mg per litre. Make these technologies more expensive. Hence, majority of users try to avoid investing in high-end technologies. So, a good technology option is constructed wetland. Constructed wetlands can treat Almost all wastewaters, whether it is grey water or wastewater from residential societies, residential schools, colleges and universities, resorts, hotels, airports, dairies, hospitals, industries, applications are endless. Sizes can be designed as small as 1 KLD, which is suitable for households to as large as 2 MLD, which is suitable for hotels, hospitals, industries, 
etc constructed wetlands are effective in a stand alone mode or also in combination mode with conventional stps a 10 kld constructed wetland which is generally sufficient for a load of about 200 persons in non residential mode and about 85 persons in residential mode would cost only rupees 15 lakh a 500 kld system would cost about rupees 1.3 crore and a 1000 kld which is 1 mld system would cost about rupees 2 crore so these costs are approximately 50 to 80% of conventional stps and annual o&m cost of such systems is only about 1000 rupees per kld in a typical life span of 25 to 30 years o&m costs play a significant role and not the capital cost good thing about a constructed wetland system is that it has minimal operation and maintenance requirements for installations by urban local bodies or gram panchayats their staff with basic training can do it adequate funds should be provided to these bodies so that they can install and maintain such environment friendly technology with such life cycle costs constructed wetland offer a return on investment period of about 5 to 6 years which is quite less a constructed wetland system has a low turnaround time that is it can be installed in a period of few months only in advanced constructed wetland systems land footprint requirement is only 1 square meter per kld it is high time to initiate small and micro entrepreneurs who will build and operate these constructed wetlands in business mode and also provide the after sales and operation and maintenance services wastewater treatment is about 32000 crore which is 4 billion us dollar business in india which is growing at the rate of, of about 10 to 12% every year conventional stp or etp industry should not see constructed wetland as a threat but as an opportunity to scale up wastewater treatment in india to achieve the huge ever growing business potential whenever required nabard and other financial institutions should come forward and include constructed wetland for loan or credit besides good business for entrepreneurs wastewater treatment also leads to significant benefits to the society i can say that let's address the wastewater treatment with environment friendly and green technologies such as constructed wetland make our campuses green and future ready and be proud to be using a made in india technology to make your campus a zero discharge campus